creative. I think what Earl has created is uh, lost in most competitions, which is focusing on the riders as your top priority. Why not keep the sport real? You know, why not showcase it as it, as it really is? And, it's, and that's all about the athletes. My dream run would be just standing on top of a peak, looking out and just seeing mountains as far as the eye could see and no civilization anywhere near me. Nothing, just pure silence. And then, uh, and then as far as the actual ride, it would just be endless powder and uh, pillows, cliffs, big airs, just everything. And, of course, I'd land everything, too. <laughs> I do the World Heli Challenge because it's so well respected amongst the athletes globally, and there's nothing else like it on the planet. It really takes everything that we do as free skiers and free riders and when you bring together the adventure lifestyle and showcase that to the world, an exotic global destination like Wanaka and the surrounding regions is incredible. They absolutely love it. They thrive on it. For these athletes to perform at their best, they need to be put on the best conditions in the best mountains in the world. That's what we have here in Wanaka. The freestyle day for 2011 was exceptional. It's the first time we've ever used that run before and the undulating train just offered so much for everybody. Conditions are absolutely primo. Freestyle is making it big in the world. I mean, you've got half pipe, you've got train park, they've just made it to the Olympics. What we do in the World Heli Challenge is take that to the backcountry. The train is Mother Nature's own. Yeah, 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 yeah. Can you can you move on? Yeah, 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 That first freestyle day run was definitely really cool because it was my first run out of a helicopter. I landed a pretty big air up top, so that was um, that was definitely really cool. It was a relief to get down, and after I got down, all I could say was heli skiing is like just as much fun as what you see in the movies. The World Heli Challenge skiing and snowboarding is just a hook. If they're not playing around in helicopters, they're out bungee jumping, jet boating, fishing, playing golf, surfing on the west coast with Oki. The extreme day was close to what I've ever dreamed of, of being in the mountains with three, four helis, with 90 something of your friends, with powder. You know, blue skies, no wind, it was amazing. Sort of being up in the heli, dropping up on the first extreme day. We were just flying around the venue, it was amazing. What we do is put the athletes on a very big mountain, very steep terrain, and it tests their technical ability on steep slopes. The setup for this year's Extreme Day on Mount Albert was incredible. Not only the heli flight into it, but it's how, where we staged it from, off the centre of Lake Wanaka on a 50 metre long barge. Talk while you're looking, what do you reckon? Uh, it looks fantastic up there. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. I can't even put it all together.
Day, fantastic snow conditions, had a really good comp. Yeah, unfortunately, there has been an injury, so we are uh, pulled the event early to get everyone down. But um, yeah, I think it was a good day for everyone in the mountains. The next few days, there will be a wine tour, we'll be doing golf, there's some jet boating going on. Everyone just hanging out, we'll be going to the west coast to go surfing and have a big bonfire. And uh, yeah, just keep everyone together hanging out for the, uh, before the showcase night.